Hello, good evening, good Wednesday evening to all one of you watching tonight. It's TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. Hello, hello, welcome to the live stream tonight. Like I said, all one of you watching, oh, all two of you watching now. The person hopped on, and yes, tonight, I, well, you just saw the advertisement. I'm going to run that now for like until the campaign's over practically for most all the live streams. Because Heroescape is back and uh, currently doing crowdfunding campaign for that. And yeah, I just I want to spread the word as much as possible. And usually we do podcast live streams, but tonight I have to do my primary stuff, which is stop motion animation of Heroescape miniatures. And I've got, um, I, like I said, I'm Ryan. Tales of Valhalla on YouTube. Type in YouTube search bar Tales of Valhalla. And what I do is a stop motion HeroScape adventure. So stop motion animation. I have seasons one and two already on YouTube. Currently working on season three, episode seven of season three. And actually going to be releasing that in a couple weeks. Uh, but I'm still got some work to do on it. I thought I was going to be able to get everything done enough to where all I'd have to do is be working on the music tonight, but I'm not quite there yet. I have to add the sounds for the, all the special effects, because there's a lot of things that are going to happen in this episode. We've got like Karak using his magic, we got Kelda using her magic, we've got um, uh, just a few other things. We've got like the, the elementals using some of their stuff, so I have to like lie down still the uh, sound effects for that, and I have them laid out here. Now I just got to get them on this timeline. <clears throat> so while I'm doing that, we'll watch some episodes of Tales of Hell, and that'll be the live stream tonight, pretty much. Um, uh, what do I have to say? Oh yeah, one thing tonight, I, I just want to mention that I kind of injured myself today. I, I, it was, um, it was my accident, but um, if you see here, my arm right there, there's a bandage here. Yeah, I kind of stabbed myself. And it's pretty deep. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's going to affect uh, the editing at all, but um, it is affecting me lifting and stuff because, I mean, it, it, my forearm, and it just kind of got into my muscle. It, it was kind of a panicky moment there, uh, like around noon today. But, I mean, I got it bandaged. Um, I mean, thank goodness my wife has um, stuff to fill in, whatever wound it was. I mean, I think if it was any deeper or any wider, I probably would have had to go to the ER to get stitches or whatever, but thank goodness I don't think I'll need to do that. I think um, we closed the wound right, and, and uh, it's now it's on its way to healing. Whenever it heals, I don't know. It just, I mean, and it still feels kind of like my muscle feels kind of wonky. But I mean, I'm not in any horrible pain, so this is crazy. Uh, uh, oh, hi, Marion. How did that happen? Uh, I, I made a mistake. I'm, um, I sometimes uh, carry knives in my pocket, and for some reason this knife was... I had just purchased it, and um, apparently it was faulty. kind of sprung open in my pocket, and it was sharp enough to poke out of my... Um, out of my pants pocket while I was kind of bending over to get my shoes on and then while, while I'm doing that and I mean it's and it just hit me with uh, uh, I mean it just it poked me it poked me good um, before I realized oh that that's open so I have to send that knife back if it's faulty get one that won't injure me uh, Priscilla is good at recovering people from it. <laughs> oh yeah, you know she she um, has helped me a lot. So yes, <laughs> I mean for me it's just like I was uh, how would I put it, um, and I mean we'll get started in a second. But oh well, thank you, I, I I'm sure I'll heal up. I just gotta not lift things, um, not lift Jose now, and uh, yeah just take it easy uh, for a few weeks when it comes to lifting. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 it was a kind of a shock. It was like, okay, this thing just poked me while I was getting my shoes on. And Jose, because I was about to take Jose to my park, my son, uh, my four-year-old son. And so I get poked, and I'm just, and I'm all of a sudden realizing I just got stabbed by my own knife. And, and Jose's right beside me, and, and he's like, he's trying to figure out, because I'm starting to bleed 
like over on the floor. Um, so it got me good. And and Jose's coming up to me, and he's actually coming up to the part where um, the blade is sticking out of my pants pocket. And I'm like, and I and I, I kind of half shouted at him, being like, Jose, stay back, stay back, because I, I didn't want him to get injured. Um, and he'll just he'll just jump into anything. So I got him back, and I started applying pressure to the wound. And uh, Jose, being the smart little kiddo he is, um, after a minute uh, went to where Priscilla was, because Priscilla was working in a separate room and said mama mama daddy uh how do you put it uh daddy ouch or dad daddy uh, ouched himself daddy got ouch <laughs> and so i walk in and i'm just i'm just holding this thing and and i'm just like i i, I kind of was a little disoriented like i wasn't sure what to do i knew we had bandages and i was trying to look for bandages in the cupboard but i couldn't really find them i was slightly panicky and she had she actually had this powder um, that helps stab wounds and she got it for because she she um, had um, some type of injury to where she poked herself um, kind of good and, and it helps with open wounds so she got that powder and like filled it in to the stab wound that I had and uh, that that staunched it and I was able to just put a bandage on it and I mean it has been bleeding since I still took Jose to the park and you know we had a good time we, I think we had our park experience a little bit shorter tonight but um or uh, today but you know I mean I, I'm you know I'm I'm okay so <laughs> just crazy wild wild things that can happen just you know always 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 just be I always tell my son you know be careful be careful and I gotta apply that to myself too just always got to be careful be aware of what's going on uh, anyway so yes but anyway uh hero escape age of annihilation uh the vanguard edition yep that's still crowdfunding and let me oh, actually let me take a look at that tally real quick Let's see where are we at um how many how many uh, backers are there? Let's see 1767 so we're getting close to 2000 <clears throat> so I mean we'll just have to see how that's gonna go and uh, I mean, if anybody's watching this for the first time please go go back that let's have hero skate back uh, I mean whether it succeeds or not I mean I'm still what I'm gonna I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do with my storylines but it would be awesome if it if hero escape did come back because I think that would benefit a lot of us content creators out there I'm not saying that'd be the main reason for people to back it. I mean, it's it's as well just one of the best games ever. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, we'll see what happens in a month or so. And anyway, like I said, got to work on this. And uh, how about we get started, eh? Because I think that's all the talking I want to do right now. And I, I don't know how long late I'll work tonight. Um, I'll work on this. I'll try to go for two hours. We'll see. But how about I start then with uh, season two? And again, anybody has any questions on the stream, I'll unmute my microphone again and and, and answer them. But um, thank you everybody for sticking around. And again, thank you for the follows too here on Twitch, because um, I just I'm past fifty followers now, and so I'm starting to sign up for the affiliate level, and that'll help me do um, other bells and whistles while I'm streaming. I'm still setting it up, so it probably won't be ready until like this weekend or next week. But that's happening. So, so and that and that's for all you watching and, and following. So I appreciate that so much. All right, how about we get started? Okay, let me just start this. Okay, I'm gonna mute things and then current turn on season two.
Okay, so I just completed pretty much season two. Oh, what are you watching tonight? Kind of a slow night tonight, it looks like. I basically, I mean, it's it's very, very rough, um, these sound effects. I have to adjust the volumes and add a bit more, and I still there's still a section here like the add-on, but that is kind of, kind of got spoilers, so I want to do that not on a live stream. <laughs> Um, but everything that I wanted to do, I basically laid down most everything I wanted to before the night. I mean, there there is like um, adding some stuff, but I am I am a little tired. Um, I I think it's good for me to get uh, rest as much as possible to just help heal this. And I believe by like say like Sunday night for TOV Live. On Sunday, I will. I should have the. I should have this done, and we'll start working on music. Sunday, like this coming Sunday and next Wednesday too. Although, of course, for TV Live, uh, on Sunday we're gonna have you know a panel talk about Age of Annihilation and, and other things to do with HeroScape. But I'm talking about after that segment is done, I might go in a little later in the night that night and start working on music. I'll have to see what I set up. If I get all this done, which I mean it shouldn't take too much longer to do. I mean well when I say much longer I mean like a few hours worth, but I still have a few nights before Sunday night to complete this. Many years ago. Oh, I get everything finessed and just make sure everything sounds right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Hold on. Hold on a moment. Okay. Turn season two off, yeah. So anyway, I say I'll have to say this. I think I'm just gonna call it a night early. It's been an hour and thirty minutes so far, and yeah, I mean, I did a little bit. Like I said, this just, I mean, this is really boring. Just adding the sound effects to special effects, but this is all I really have to need to do before we start adding music. And then, when it comes to adding music. Then we can start looking at the uh, uh, the fun, the fun sounds. I mean, I might I might have I might have the um, uh, the episodes going during that time, but it's kind of, it's kind of fun to see the sounds. So I might have I don't know. I got, I'm thinking when I shouldn't be thinking. This is when I know I'm tired and I should just call it a night and get rest. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get rest, and I still got the. The mucusy nosy thingy too. I'm not completely healed from that. Anyway, you don't care about how I feel or my like my my illnesses, or whatever. But um, yeah, but like I said, just like I said, almost majority of what I wanted to lie down here is laid down. I just gotta finesse it, and so I'm just gonna call this a completed night and um, kind kind of a short one. But uh, this is how I lie down, or I, I put in the timeline, the mute, or not the music, the sound effects for the special effects of of Tales of Hala Hal episode seven, season three, and yeah, so. I guess that will be that and if you're watching this as you're watching the YouTube video this, this is a shorter version than at the beginning of this video you'll have seen like an example of the sound effects for these special effects too and I mean this this just gives an indication of the time it takes like I said this this has been a couple of hours it'll probably take another few hours just to add the sound effects for these special effects but it's, there's basically a lot of copy and pasting and figuring out where what needs to go where. But it's a lot of them. You can see a lot, a lot of layers to these sounds that you hear, whatever it be Karak's uh, staff or like teleportation or even like, uh, let's see, even like Kelda's uh, wand. Just, just all kinds of effects needs to be. You know, added in, but at the same time, not too loud, not too low. You don't want it loud to where it overwhelms everything, but not too low to where you can't hear it. So there's also a thing of finding that balance as well. 
Anyway, so I am going to call it a night for those of you who are watching the live stream on Twitch again. Always thank you so much for the support, getting uh, past 50 plus subscribers. And I'm just going to end this live stream by saying what I always say, which is for those of you who are watching this on the Tales of Ahala YouTube page, this is an edited down version of what is about almost uh, an hour and a half or so, a little more than an hour and a half of me editing the uh, sound effects for the special effects of Tales of Ahala Episode 7 Season 3. If you want to see the full version of this, which is probably going to be just a really, really faster version, let me quickly go on through it. Um, you can see that whole thing, although there's not much to it, but but you can see that whole bit and 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 you'll get a little side story of me cutting my arm probably. You'll, you'll find that longer version in our Conductor Productions YouTube page, which should be in the screen in front of you or a link in the description below. And with that, I thank you all for watching. Have a good night. We'll see you later. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.